If it's only right if I ask you about your recruitment process, just because like yeah, that's, that's been yeah. been a talk of the town, you know, since you got you yeah. got here, and you were kind of been like a trendsetter in a way because you were the highest touted recruit in UCF history, and you yeah. still are. And, uh, yeah. I think uh, I think that's great for the program, and I want you kind of like to walk me how that was like, you know, that that recruitment process, and you know, getting here to UCF. Yeah, first of all, I just want to thank all the coaches that offered me and you know gave me an opportunity to you know play for their school. But you know, the recruitment process was really fun and a great opportunity, and you know, uh, I just want to. Uh, Thank all the coaches I said again, but yeah, it, it was just really fun and um, it was a little stressful at times, you know, because coaches call you every day here and there. So like, it was really hard to pick a school because you don't know what coaches are, you know, telling you the truth or exactly. who's lying. Right. So like, you know, it was really hard, but you know, I really took my time and you know, broke things down with my parents and uh, I just felt like UCF was the uh, best option for me. Right, and when you look at the greater landscape of things, you know, UCF, this is the first year in the Power Five. You guys are the first class, you know, to play in the Power Five yeah. coming in. Did that play a role, you know, and you also had schools like the University of Florida, you know, and it's right down the road yeah. with, I guess, a more prestigious, you know, history and, and you know, had defensive linemen, you know, that, that have been great in the NFL too. Yeah. But you, did you know that, you know, coming here to UCF, you could kind of be like, that trend set, right? you know, like set your footprint. Was that, did that play? Yeah, I wanna, you know, I wanna build my own legacy. I don't wanna, you know, be the other people and go, yep. you know, since I'm a high, well, was a high rated, you know, recruit. I don't wanna go to a high, uh, you know, a big school because, you know, I'm a high recruit. Right. Man, I, I wanna start my own legacy and, you know, start my own path. You know, John, like for me, I, I went to you, and I transferred to UCF. Yeah. And what you just said translates completely to what I did. I'm just a yeah. student, right? Yeah. I'm just a journalism major, but I feel like, you know, you have to be prestigious, yes, it's a talk, but yeah. I don't want to, you know, follow, like, the yeah. legacy of yeah. others. I want to be like, all right, I'm going to UCF because it's an upcoming yeah. school, yeah. and I know I can leave my footprint yeah. behind. Yeah, so, that's, that's exactly how I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's a smart, you know, that's a smart way to think about things, you know. Um, yeah. I know NIL is a huge deal, and, you know, I know they're taking care of you guys, and that's important, but, you know, I think legacies are just as important as, yeah. as that. And uh, I guess the next question would be is, like, what are, what are you looking forward to this season? What do you want to get out of this season? Man, I just want to win games, you know, take one game at a time and, you know, try and try my best to contribute and help the team out and win games. Win games, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys have a great – you know, uh, defensive line, you got lead hunter, you know, veterans are uh, Ricky Barber, you know, those guys, I'm sure they, you know, they're kind of taking them under the wing and, and yep. teaching you good. And um, any players, you know, on the team or plays that you look up to when you were growing up that you kind of simulate your game to? Uh, you know, I like uh, Jeffrey Simmons, Donna McSue. Okay. Uh, I like, you know, Eric Donald. You know, uh, Fletcher Cox, you know, I, I look I look up to those guys, you know, I like yeah. guys that have, you know, power moves and, you know, power to finesse. And, you know, I look, I could see myself doing that too. And, you know, I learned a lot from them, from them too. That's what's up, that's what's yeah. up. Any pregame rituals to get you going, like, you know, to get your head in the game, you know, right? Uh, to be honest, I just listen to any songs that give me turn, really. That's what's up. Yeah. Any artists, any artists uh, in particular, I get Getting little baby a lot, young yeah, boy. Uh, I said Boston Richie. Boston Richie. Okay, Boston Richie. I actually yeah. saw him uh, with Drewski. He came. He came to. Orlando. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Drewski brought him on. You know, yeah. he had Kodak on, so it was, yeah, no, it was pretty cool. nice. No, yeah, I said Boston Richie. Though. Boston Richie, he's yeah. up and coming. He, yeah. he got in trouble uh, at Florida A&M. You saw uh, that? Yeah, I heard, yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Uh, yeah, that's not yeah. cool. But yeah, um, nah, man. I wish you the best of luck this this yeah, year, John. I appreciate and, uh, that. Um, I know you're gonna do great things for UCF. Thank you. Guys. I appreciate it.